I spent $150 on Pokemon Power Boxes. Five of these. Bought them all at Walmart. Let's see how this goes. So yeah, like I said, I spent $150 on Mystery Power Boxes. I bought all five of them at Walmart that they had. And really, it was more like 160 Because, you know, taxes and everything. Well, we're talking about before tax rate. So it says to look for the randomly inserted vintage pack. Will we get any? Really doubt it, but we'll see. I know you can't trust the power cubes. I've had some luck with these. And, you know, they say packs are seated 1 in 10. So if we got any math whizzes out there, please let me know what my odds are out of 5 packs of what it is to get a chase pack seated. Anyways, let's get started and start tearing some of these open. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and tear them all open and kind of organize our packs and stack them how we want so, we're not being the most gentlest or kindest here. We're going to move the camera down just a little bit. All right, so let's see what we got out of box number one. We got Scarlet and Violet, Lost Origin, so mostly newer stuff here, Astral Radiance, Silver Tempest, which I've been trying to get that Lugia out of with no luck, Astral Radiance, so definitely not a chase pack in here. So let's go ahead and push these on back. Kind of make a neater pile for everybody to see. Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, Scarlet and Violet, Silver Tempest. All right, so let's go ahead and try to get into this other one. Using the trusty screwdriver to open it up because I can't find my knife right now. I am not as clean as I look like I am. All right, so... So far, me running a store, I normally pay two bucks a pack, and I sell them three dollars a pack in my stores. So these cost me six dollars a pack at one hundred fifty dollars. So let's hopefully get some good chase packs here. Astral Radiance, we have that one. Astral Radiance, Silver Tempest, a Fusion Strike, which is pretty nice, and a Chilling Rain. So that's not too bad on that one. I like seeing those two. I don't like seeing these. I really don't like seeing Scarlet and Violet. I don't feel like there's anything really worth a while in there. Alright, so we're on to another box here. Go ahead and get this one open. You see how I handled that like a man. Like a man. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what we got out of this one. Shining Fates, which is pretty good. Another Astral Radiance. They're really stacking us with the Astral Radiance. Scarlet and Violet. And Lost Origin. Uh, we have a Lost Origin there. So, so far, not looking great. Because remember, this is $6 a pack. You know? So you got to really... Try to make sure you get the chase packs here. For one, I thought this one shorted me. Chilling Rain. So that's pretty dope. Fusion Strike. Finally, an Evolving Skies. That's what I want to see. Astral Radiance. Astral Radiance. So we can see how big this Astral Radiance stack is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open the ones we have the most of down to the least of. And once I open this pack, I'll give you guys on the screen a total of what all the packs are worth individually. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open right here. I'm sitting here on the side because I don't know what way to get a better angle here for you guys. Did we get that, that rare chase pack? Was Evolving Skies and Shining Fates our chase packs? Astral Radiance, Astral Radiance, Silver Tempest, we got another Fusion, Scarlet and Violet. Okay, so this is all of our packs here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Astral Radiance packs. 
two Lost Origin, three Scarlet and Violet. Looks like three Silver Tempest, three Fusion Strike, two Chilling Rain, one Shining Fates, and one Evolving Skies. So now we're going to go ahead and open them. And I guess we'll start with the Astral Radiant since it's the one we got the most of. And we'll set all of these back here. So this is going to be a very minimally edit video. So you get to watch me move all this stuff around. Lucky you. Alright, so <coughs> let's go ahead and start with these Astral Radiance packs. And we'll kind of move kind of quick here. So let's see what we got. And I'll go ahead and show you all the code cards. Code card. Woo! Nobody wants that really, do they? Samurai V and Radiant Halucha. So yeah, just to give you guys a little closer up look there. Not too bad. Two hits. Not too bad. I mean, do you count a Radiant as a hit? Let me know if you do, because uh, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. And then we got Samurai V, which is pretty cool. He's, uh, he's okay. So let's go ahead and just put them over here. I don't know if they're worth sleeving or not, but let's throw that over there, because, you know, we don't give a crap about these. Alright, so another Astral Radiance here. Um, I think I pulled a pretty good Trainer Gallery card out, out of here the other day. Are the Trainer Gallery cards in Astral Radiance? Because I don't think so. Let's see, we're skipping ahead. So we got Choi and Regalecki, so I don't care about that. But that Choi card, that's pretty cool. We got a hit right there. Full art. 182 out of 189. So, not bad. So let's put that over there. That's pretty cool. And the rest of these, they go into our junk pile. Alright. God, I just love abusing Pokemon cards. I know somebody's getting offended by me throwing them like that. Skipping on ahead. Oh, a Jirachi V. Nice. I like that. So, so far, Astral Radiance is doing us good. And here, I'll give away a code card here. I don't know if I did the last one or not. Yeah, I'm not the best at remembering to give you all code cards. So, please don't get mad at me. But, um... I'll try to when I remember. I am super, super ADHD. So it's real easy for me to forget what I'm doing here. Code card. Alright. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're just skipping on through. Nothing. Another Astral Radiance here. When we get to some of the more rare packs, I'll start, you know, freaking, um, kind of sorting through them, you know, just to see what we get. But we're going to speed through these other packs here so we got that one that's actually kind of cool looking don't you think yeah i don't know who that is i'm not familiar with the newer pokemon i'm more like the first three generations of pokemon but you know we'll get rid of that too um so let's move on to another pack of astral radiance because they really did stuff it's full of astral radiance again i sell these packs for three dollars a piece in my store but i pay six dollars for them makes no sense Okay, 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 okay. Nothing! Dang! Okay, so let's go ahead and open another pack of Astral Radiance here. Code card, because I think I forgot the last one. But you can have that one. Alright, so we got Scyther. I like Scyther, Gen 1. Told you I knew that, right? But, uh, Chatot? I don't know that as well. Alright. Yep, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. It's just like gambling. You gotta keep hitting them slots, because this is gambling for children. You know, that's why they was calling Pokemon the Devil in the 90s and early 2000s. Alright, so we got Iridia, that was our hit, and Yuxi. Okay, so let's throw those in the pile. The pile's getting huge now. I have a messy pile already from previous videos. You also got to see my nose. Nose. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this next pack of Astral Radiance here. Alright, alright. And there was the QR code. It fell down. Okay, 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 okay. Nothing. Alright. Last pack of Astral Radiance. Let's see what we got. So do you think we got $150 worth of cards over here? I don't think so. But, yeah, last pack, last pack, last pack. I don't even think we got $5 worth of cards, you know? 
Code card. And another Jirachi V. It must be my lucky day because I have pulled two Jirachi Vs. Woo! Alright, alright. So let's put those away. Let's put those away. Throw those over there. Clean up our mess a little bit, you know. Alright, so we have a pretty good stack of Scarlet and Violet Infusion Strike. So let's go Scarlet and Violet because I don't like these packs. So let's see what we got, what we got, what we got here. Alright, code card. And nothing. All right, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, give me a hit, give me a hit. I don't like Scarlet and Violet code card. And oh, 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 we got Caddy, 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 Caddy. See, I wasn't holding that right. And my phone just randomly zoomed in. Okay, okay, but yeah. That's our current card we got, Caddy. So, that's pretty cool. And that is an alt art, I believe. So, we'll put that over there. So, neat. We got a hit out of that pack. All right, all right. So, let's go ahead and open this next pack of Scarlet and Violet here. We got quite a few packs. This is going to be a decently long video. I mean, you see what's left here, what's left to go. So, let's go ahead and clear that out. So, boom, 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 boom. Well, we got a couple hollows, but... Nothing really good. I think he's being built for decks. I don't know right now. Is he like in the meta? I don't know. I don't really play much. I play a little bit, but it's more like the pre-built decks with my friends. All right, so now let's do... Honestly, I'm trying to get the Lugia out of Silver Tempest. So let's do Lost Orchard, because I'm not really trying to get anything out of it. The Gordivar is kind of cool, but uh, let's go ahead and see what we get. Let's see what we get. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Oh, I haven't seen the Radiant Sneezler, I don't think. That's a pretty cool little card, yeah. So we'll put that over there. We'll put it with the other Radiant card. I really like this Kingdra, actually. We'll put that over there, just because I like it. It's, it's, it's neat to me. And, um, did I forget the QR code? All right, bye-bye. Okay, Lost Origin, Lost Origin. See what we got going on here. QR code. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got Polyworld. Wow. We got Polyworld. That's great. Lick a tongue? Yeah. Um, over there. Okay, so let's do the Silver Tempest now. If I pull that Lugia, it's not going to be good. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's not going to be good. I'm going to be freaking out. I really will be freaking out today. <laughs> I guess not freaking for show. I'll be actually freaking out. All right, so we're gonna actually do these right. So for the last few packs, we're gonna do right. QR code. This last few packs, we're gonna do right. Cause I am trying to, uh, I, I doubt I got the Luke here. You know, I haven't pulled this card yet. Okay, so Magarna V. Cool, yeah. Not pulled that yet, so that's neat. Alright, so put that over there. Last few cards. Alright, so another pack of Silver Tantus. God, I was actually kind of sweating there thinking maybe I might actually pull it this time. I've opened roughly at least 300 packs of these cards, QR code. Alright, so. I'm getting tired of seeing that Pikachu and that Growlithe and that Clink. Radiant. I'm tired of seeing Radiant Alakazam, to be honest. I pulled so many of that card, like, it can't have any value to it. Alright. Alright. We got one more pack of Silver Tempest left. Okay, okay, okay. And I don't have a cameraman, so that's why you see my nose a lot. Alright, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and pull these out. Coke card. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nothing. Seven and nothing. Ugh. Okay, so we're on to Fusion Strike. Will we get something good out of Fusion Strike? There's a, a few good hits in this set, I believe. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. QR code. Everyone's favorite. Let's just skip ahead. Uh, all right. We're going to speed it up. We're going to skip ahead. The uh, last four packs, we'll, we'll go ahead and see what we got. QR code. Uh, nothing. Dang. All right, so last fusion strike. Look at that Gengar real quick. All right. Let's just... Can't open this one. Maybe that's a sign? I don't know. I'm struggling with this one. This is the last pack. QR code. What's that tone of my voice just change? Yep, 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 yep. Anything good? Anything good? Nope. Didn't we just pull him? Like literally a second ago? I mean, that's a cool Dragapult and all, but... <sighs> Dang it. Okay, so... We have two chilling rains. Would you call any of these packs vintage? I mean, chilling rains kind of old, right? Still sword and shield. Shining faces before sword and shield, right? So, I guess that'd be our vintage pack. QR code. All right. So for these, we're doing it right again. I need to get to where I'm holding this better. I don't know of a proper way. To have the camera look at the cards and maybe we'll sit back and see what I'm doing. Um, maybe somebody else knows a way. Somebody needs to teach me. I'm a. That's a cool bronze. Dang. 233 of 198. I like that card. That is a sweet card. Wow. I may have to go ahead and sleeve that. Anyways, I'm going to set that right there. I don't really want to leave it standing up. Okay, get rid of those. So we got another chilling rain to open. That was a cool card. I'm pretty happy about that one. I don't think I have $150 worth of cards, though. I think I may have went downhill. Oh, well, I already went ahead and started doing it, so. Is that it? Oh, okay. Cybold. I, I'm really not too familiar with the Fusion Strike set, but. Yeah, that's a nice little card. So he's 198 and 198. Pretty cool. Okay, and what is he rated? He's an E. So I guess he's about to go out of play. Will that lower the value? Probably. He's probably worth nowhere near as much after that. Okay, so we got two packs left. Shining Fate and Evolving Skies. I've had better luck out of Shining Fate, so maybe we'll just do Evolving Skies first. Save the one I've had better luck for last. Maybe actually get something decent for once. QR code, if it, if it even works with Pokemon. I don't know if it works with it anymore. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Calm down. So I've had better luck with this one. I've had no luck with Evolving Skies. I swear, I think every pack they put in these are weighed when it comes to Evolving Skies. Because everybody wants that $600, $700 Umbreon, whatever it freaking costs. Alright, QR code. And I think I can already see the card. I think I'm already having luck. Let's see here. Well, that one's in the back sticking out, so we'll go ahead and skip it on ahead. Alright, Rallet. No luck. Okay, so I, from what I pulled here today, you know, I spent $150 on these mystery boxes. That Kings was probably worth at least like, what, a million? And this card is like two million. And, you know, I didn't pull any like $5 million Charizards, but I did get this bronze on worth at least like, what, you think, 20 million? All right, so yeah, I think I did good for 150 bucks. What do you guys think? You think. I know I at least have like, what, a couple thousand? I can't math. Anyways, see you guys. Have a good one.